In this video, we are going to cover the accounting equation, the expanded accounting equation, and the owner's equity formula. These equations are all very important in accounting, and they are helpful to solve various problems. After we review them, we will do an exercise where we use the formulas to determine the net income or net loss for a company given the data that they've provided. All right, so let's begin with the accounting equation. So the accounting equation is made up of assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Well, this is also the same as the balance sheet, right? So on the balance sheet, we have our assets and then we have our liabilities and owner's equity. And when we add the owner's um, equity to the liabilities, that should equal the assets. And that is the basic accounting equation and also the format for the balance sheet. Next, we have the expanded accounting equation. So the expanded accounting equation is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity plus revenue minus expenses minus owner's draws. Now, how the expanded equation is different is that it breaks out our owner's equity. So our owner's equity is made up of four things, and we'll, we'll talk about that in just a moment. But it's also the owner's contributions, so right? That's when own, the owner makes contributions to the business. The owner's draws, that's money that the owner takes out of the business, plus revenue, minus expenses. So when we put that all together, we get the expanded accounting equation. So next, let's talk about the owner's equity formula. So the owner's equity formula, it is the same as the owner's equity statement. Okay. It is the same format as the owner's equity statement. So how it begins is with the owner's equity at the beginning of the period. So how much was the owner's equity in the beginning of the period, then we would add any contributions that the owner made to the business during the period. We then subtract out any withdrawals the owner may have taken from the business during the period, and we add in revenue earned during the period. Now, revenue is what we earn from doing what we're supposed to do or doing what the business does. If we're Walmart, Walmart sells things. When they sell things, they earn sales and sales as a revenue account. Now we have expenses. Expenses are the costs that we incur to earn our revenue. So once again, if we're Walmart, we have the cost of our product that we sell, and we also have the cost of running our store, such as electricity and rent and such. So we subtract our expenses from our revenue, and that's where we get our net income or our net loss. So, so revenue minus expenses is our net income, unless of course we have more expenses than revenue, then we'll have a net loss. And those are the accounts that we will find on our income statement. Okay, so now we have reviewed three, the three statements that we're going to focus on in this course. The income statement, the owner's equity statement, and the balance sheet. Okay, and the income statement is our net income, uh, is our revenue minus our expenses. Our owner's equity statement is all of these accounts. And then our balance sheet is assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. So now when we're looking at our owner's equity, we prepare an owner's equity statement so we can account for what's called the changes in owner's equity. So if, a, if you owned a business and you were going to a bank and you wanted to borrow some money, you would take your, sta your financial statements and they want to see what has happened in the owner's equity statement. They want to see how much net income 
went into the owner's equity. How much contribution did the owner make? How many withdrawals did they make? So that's important information. So these four items are called the changes in owner's equity. All right, so now that we've reviewed our equations, let's go ahead and solve our problem. So here's our exercise. We have a company called Thurmond Company, and they have the following assets and liabilities on the dates indicated. So we have December 31st, 2019, 2020, 2021. We have assets and we have liabilities, and these are the balances. Thurman began business on January 1, 2019 with an investment of $100,000. So this is important information. So the business began on January 1, 2019. And so that means it was a brand new business. Okay. And they, there was an investment by the owner into the business of $100,000. From an analysis of the changes in owner's equity during the year, compute the net income or the net loss. Okay, so that is our job. That is our task on, at hand. Calculate out the net income or the net loss. All right, so what I have put in here is our, our owner's equity formula. I just copied it from up here. So that way we can use that formula to calculate out the net income, net loss. The thing I did do that's different is rather than put revenue and expenses, because we don't know that, when we take our revenue and subtract out our expenses, we get our net income or our net loss. I put that here. So I broke out the formula, say so here it is, owner's equity state, owner's equity at the beginning of the period, owner's contributions, minus draws plus net income minus net loss gives us our owner's equity at the end of the period. Okay, so I'm going to start filling in the pieces. So remember, Thurmond began business on January 1, 2019. Our beginning owner's equity is always the balance at the end of the last fiscal year, right? So that would be December 31st, 2018 for the fiscal year of 2019. Well, this is a brand new business. So our beginning owner's equity was zero. From the facts, they tell us that the business started on January 1, 2019 with an investment of $100,000. Okay, so that's positive. Okay, so it's $100,000. And it says from an analysis, compute the net income or net loss in 2019, assuming Thurman's drawings were 12,000 for the year. All right, so the draws were 12,000. That's going to be a negative. Okay, so now how are we going to figure this out? Well, they gave us some other information up here. They gave us total assets and total liabilities. Well, from our fundamental accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity, we can calculate out what our total equity is. So our total equity is going to be assets minus liabilities. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate that out. So in 2019, if our total assets were 400,000 and our liabilities are 250,000, that means that our owner's equity was $150,000, right? So that's 400,000 minus 250,000. Okay, so right here we can put the $150,000, that is our ending equity. Okay, so now if we do our math, so if we do our math, we do 
a hundred so we do zero plus a hundred thousand minus twelve thousand how much do we get that's going to equal eighty eight thousand dollars okay so if if we have our beginning equity plus our contributions minus our draws that gives us eighty eight thousand and we ended the year with hundred and fifty thousand in our owners equity that means we had a positive income right it was a net income it wasn't a net loss and our net income was sixty two thousand dollars and how did I get that I took my hundred and fifty thousand I subtracted my eighty eight thousand and it was a positive sixty two thousand so that is net income because it was positive so here is the answer to the question it is so the net income for 2019 is $62,000. Okay, so let's go on and let's solve two for 2020. So assume, assuming Thurman made an additional investment of 34,000 and had no drawings in 2020, right? So now we have to calculate our net income. So our ending owner's equity, so 2019 ending owner's equity becomes our beginning owner's equity for 2020. Let's calculate our ending owner's equity from going up here and looking at our accounting equation. So if we have 460,000 in assets, And we have 300,000 in liabilities. How much is our total equity? So that would make it $160,000. Okay, so now we know what our ending equity is. So let's go ahead and put it here. Okay, so we began the year with, with 50, 150,000 in our owner's equity account. We ended the year with $160,000. They, in the information they gave us, they said that the owner made an additional investment of 34,000. So that's gonna be 34,000 positive, right? And the comp and the owner had no draws, no drawings for 2020. So if I take my $150,000 that we started with, the $34,000 that the owner contributed, I now have $184,000. So if I had $184,000 and I ended the year with $160,000, that means I have a negative $24,000. So I have a net loss because it's negative. So if I take my beginning equity and what the owner contributed to the business, I get 184, 184,000. I ended the year with 160,000. So what happened? Somehow I have a negative $24,000 to make that balance and I must have a net loss. Okay, so that is my answer for B, a net loss of 24,000. All right, so let's move on to the last one. C, 2021, assuming Thurman made an additional investment of 12,000. 
So they contributed an additional 12,000 to the business and withdrew 25,000. Now we have to calculate out our net income. So let's begin with their beginning owner's equity. So that's last period's ending equity, which is $160,000. The information tells us that we have $12,000 in additional contributions that the owner made and that the owner withdrew 25,000. Okay, so now if I take 160,000 and I add to it 12,000 and I subtract out the 25,000, I get $147,000. Now let's find out what is our ending owner's equity. So let's go up here. We had 590,000 in assets, 400,000 in liabilities. That means I have 190,000 in assets. I'm sorry, in owner's equity. So that's 490. should be 590, this should be blue. Okay, so our ending owner's equity in 2021 is 190,000. So let's go ahead and put that here. So, I begin the year with 160,000 in equity. The owner contributed 12,000, withdrew 25,000. That gives me 147,000. I ended the year with 190,000. So that is a difference of 43,000 and it is a positive amount. So that means I had net income. So I take my 147,000, I add my 43 and that gives me $190,000. So my answer to that one is I have net income of $43,000. Hopefully this makes sense to you and using the formulas make it easier to solve problems.